Hi, SuperStress here, back with another Distance Incremental video, episode 14, and you can see I'm, I'm up to rank 163 in tier 13, doesn't really matter. The big thing here is the knowledge upgrades. I, th I'm gonna be, I think I'm going to be able to get all of these. So, scale to tier scaling is weaker based on stadium challenge completions. Pretty good. Doesn't seem to be doing much right now. Um, Enlightenment's boost ascension power gain. That's... I, th I think that's pretty good because ascension power you can see now it's 97 per second so it's pretty good and then time speed boosts acceleration and maximum velocity so this should help just everything right now to super scale tier scaling starts later based on maximum velocity and maximum velocity is replaced by velocital energy is that just a change in wording I really have no idea. Right now it says maximum velocity is is E6493 universes per second. What happens when I ch when I get this? I get an achievement, that's the first thing. It's unlock velocity energy. Knowledge gain is 50% faster. Okay, that's really good. I'm not really sure what velocity energy means. It just seems like a rewarding to me. This last one is unlock accelerational energy, which is based on your ranks and tiers, but, and boosts your velocity energy, which in turn, turn boosts your time speed. That's what it means. So this means um, that I'll be getting, yeah, it I looks like I can get another endorsement out of this because accelerational energy is 4,000 times. Velocity energy is E862 times, which means the time speed is E500 times. So now I have E4 e universes. I don't really like that notation. Perhaps I could change it. I like this notation better, so yeah, that's what I'm going to do. It's essentially just the mixed notation that I use in Antimera Dimensions. So, yeah, it looks like, yeah, I, I should probably just do another endorsement, except I just got an achievement instead, which is this one. Reach a time speed of E22,000, or no, 2.2. Actually, I don't really like this notation. I, wanted, I wish I could just do the commas on exponents. I don't think there's a... Okay, maybe I should just go back to scientific. Um, I wish there was a commas on exponents option, but whatever. I'll deal with this anyway, and, and I'll just do another endorsement. I get two achievements out of that. Um, I get this one, the Reach E390 Universe without any pathogen upgrades. I wasn't even going for it. And then I also get this one, Outbreak 76. Reach 250% of pathogen upgrade power. Interesting. And perhaps I, I can get another endorsement out of this. And I get another achievement out of this. Anti-automation. Reach 20 endorsements. I can probably get a 21st endorsement practically. I mean, I have no idea what I need for a 21st endorsement here. I need E1.5, E4 universes. I'm at E1.2, E4. So, I don't think... You know, no new Infinity upgrades. I can try to use combinations of this and perhaps the endorsements will allow me to get more stadium challenge completions actually that's what i will do so um perhaps i'm just gonna try all of these i can get this one um but i think i want don't i want this one yeah it looks like these are a lot easier i'm just gonna try space on i can even these are taking like no time at all four five Um, is this one possible? I only need I only need 150 meters. What do I have? 32. This is this is possible. So I got a bunch of other achievements here. Complete three stadium challenges, and this is the complete six stadium challenges. So I'm oh, I'm almost there. If I only need 150 meters, it's just a matter of time until I actually make it there because I'm already two thirds of the way there, and this will allow me to. Um, this, this will allow me to... I'm not even looking at any of these this challenges. We can see all resource gain before infinity is raised to the power of 0.1. And time speed does nothing. Maximum velocity raised to the power of 0.1. Acceleration is power raised to the power of 0.1. You cannot gain dark cores and pathogen upgrades do nothing. Yet I have completed all of the challenges. I should probably try to get the feel the heat um, achievement. Because I'm just missing it right now. Um... But you can see, this means that um, the Infinity 1-1 is stronger based on rockets. Super scale rank scaling starts later based on cadavers. Rocket fuel effect is twice as powerful. 
Endorsements and Ascension Power make ranks boost time speed. Time cubes are thrice as powerful, and um, passage and upgrades are 0.75% stronger for every achievement you have. So, that's really good. I, um, I can't really do much else. I will, I will get all these, even though I don't think it does all that much. And, yeah, now I have all the stadium challenges. Perhaps... Uh, no, I can't get all four at once. I thought I could get all four at once. I'm still getting enough ascension power that I can do quite a bit. Like, I can do this, which will definitely help things. And perhaps I can get something else as well. Actually, look, another endorsement. And this is going to unlock the next set of infinity upgrades. So, I'm just going to do it. But right now, I don't have much time to record. So, yeah, see in a bit. Okay, I'm back here... And I'm just going to do the endorsement here. There's not really anything else I can be doing. I guess I can do this. I can set up these. So, yeah, I'm just going to do the endorsement. And the achievement is feel the heat. Where even is this? Uh, is it this one? No. It's, it has to be one of these. Where is it? Oh, it's this one. The Reach E, Center of 60 Universe, without any dark cores. So, it looks like I, I'm going to unlock the next mechanic here. I'm not going to touch it until next episode, because, the, yeah, that's next episode, because I'm always going to leave you on a cliffhanger, even if it's a lame one, and I'll be checking out the new Infinity upgrade instead, because, yeah, looks like this is, I don't see anything, oh wait, there is next set of Infinity upgrades at Endorsement 28, wow, this is, this is now 64 upgrades, which, I mean, like, at first, 9 upgrades, okay, that's not a lot, 16, that's also not a lot, I mean, it's something, 25, okay, that's starting to be something, 36, ooh, that's quite a bit, 49, and then now there's 64, 64 is a lot of upgrades, um, anyway, this is the dark circle cycle reduction uses a much weaker formula, that probably just means that the dark flow works better, I'm guessing, yeah, I'm, I'm looking, like, looking at this gain orders of magnitude, so, yeah, I can't actually get this one somehow, because I need, um, I don't have enough knowledge. This costed 1e26. E I'd like 2e26. E um, so, here what I can do, time reversal upgrade 11 is stronger based on accelerational energy. Which one? It's this one is stronger based on the accelerational energy. So, this means that time cubes and dark flow will be better. So, I'll get this. Um, I can get... Base knowledge gain is boosted by heavenly chips. Oh, this must be a Pantheon thing. <laughs> also, this definitely is a cookie clicker reference. Heavenly chips. That that's literally cookie clicker right there. Okay, maybe uh, okay, maybe you can just check it out because I did that in episode 13. But I won't really do anything with it. I have a spectral gem, zero heavenly chips, zero demonic souls. I won't do anything else with it. I'm just gonna This is base knowledge gain is gonna be boosted. I feel like the base knowledge gain just went down, but whatever. And then pathogen upgrade six to ten use better formula. That's pretty good. And that that's an achievement there. It's um, reach e almost e one thousand universes per second squared of acceleration. That's insane. And the reward is time speed boost knowledge gain at a reduced rate. That's pretty good. So now I'm getting six e twenty one. Second, life essence multiplies rocket gain. So that means more rockets. Um, you can see just the knowledge gain jump up. Rockets also boost accelerational energy. Another jump up in the <laughs> knowledge per second. Um, dark matter and dark energy use different formula, better formulas. And spectral gems, angels, and demons boost dark flow. That still does something somehow. So... Yeah, that means I have a bunch of upgrades. I can get another endorsement from Infinity. Actually, two more endorsements. Three more endorsements. I'm four more. What am I even doing? I'm just endorsing. <laughs> oh my god. This. What even is this? And I got a bunch of achievements as well. Like this one reach one versus for second squared of accelerational energy. I'm not even looking at these. I'm at hyper rank 199, super scale tier 15, and um, a lot of. <laughs> A lot of velocity energy and a lot of acceleration energy as well. And um, and, then, and then what else? 
this one reached 25 endorsements. You gain twice as many Heavenly Chips and Demonic Souls, even though I haven't touched either of them. And then have E3000 Cadavers. The only ones I'm missing is have an interval below one second for Field Bot. I can definitely do that. I can I can do this and uh, get this going. And yeah, boom, there's another achievement. And then gain purge power, whatever that is. And then there's um, reach E3, E4 universes while in Eternity's Stadium Challenge. Okay, I, I feel like I will I will do the Pantheon stuff next episode. There's probably a new mechanic at... And also I have two Spectral Gems, whatever that means. I'm guessing there's a new mechanic at... Actually, no, it's not a 28 endorsement. It's... I'm, I'm probably already going to re reach it, like, next episode. <laughs> because this game is just ridiculously fast. So, yeah... Um, be prepared for two mechanics to be unlocked next episode. So, yeah, hope you enjoyed. Peace out.